Hey guys, what's up? Um, last commentary for a few days. Um, like I said in my previous video, I'm going to Ocean City, Maryland for uh, about five days. Um, but I better jump into the topic real quick because I only have seven minutes to do this. This is a team death match. Final score is 33 and one. That is probably all I'll say about the commentary um, or about the gameplay. I'm chewing gum too, so if you hear that, like, munching, I'm chewing gum. And I can't just chew, like, one piece of gum. I have to chew multiple pieces of gum. Like, if I, I'll chew one piece, and then it'll lose its taste really quickly, and I try another piece, and I end up chewing the whole pack eventually. Um, Obama. That's what I want to talk about. Alright, first of all, I want to address these idiots that say he wasn't born in this country. One, do you honestly believe that the CIA and internal affairs would allow a president to be elected if he um, if he wasn't born in the U.S.? That's bullshit. Like, think about that. All right, think about how much. I'm sorry. I'm I'm pausing here. I have to chew this gum and. It's a lot of gum. It's a lot of gum. Oh. Um, think of all the dirt that politicians dig up on each other. Like, wouldn't that have been brought up? I mean, we wouldn't have elected them. I, I know America's retarded, but we're not that retarded. I mean, not most of us, at least. Um, there's no way. He, that's bullshit. We have his birth certificate. You know what? I don't know what else to tell you people. And if you're one of my subscribers and you believe that he wasn't born in this country, fuck you. Unsubscribe. Uh, honestly, I want subscribers with intelligence. I don't want dumbasses. Um, next, I want to talk about what kind of job he's doing. Now, it's, it's really, really difficult to judge a person in this type of situation that he's in. But, I can guarantee you that if anyone else was elected, other than Obama, they would be taking the same shit he is, and they would be doing either a worse job or the same, or the same job he's doing. He is doing a good job. I don't care what anyone says. You can argue. I don't care. I'm not going to argue back because, honestly, I know I'm right on this one. I, I link it to the, um, what was his name? Woodrow Wilson? Was that who it is? They blamed him for the Depression. It wasn't his fault. Think about this. All right, one. He is one man. One man cannot be in charge of creating a, a great Depression, the biggest Depression we've ever had. One of the, the biggest Depressions in all of history in any country. Um, and two, I mean, <clears throat> it's a bad situation. It's a matter of years of just shit. Just, I mean, just shit. Just irresponsible spending, crappy, crappy, crappy job done by the government. I mean, the American government is, is shit. You, you, we all know it. We, we know it. We don't want to say it, but we know it. The American government is not good. We try to make it as this big, fair government that has democracy. And, you know what? That's that's garbage. That's garbage. <clears throat> the American government sucks. And we all know it. Um, and the problem with Americans is if they have a problem today, they want it solved by tomorrow. And that's not how it works. This is a long process. Think about this. It took us 10 years of the same dumbass president to get us here. One guy will not change it. I don't care what you say. Barack Obama will not change it. He will help it. He'll get it on the right path. And that's what he's doing. He's changing it. He's helping it. And he's making it better. But I don't care what you say. It is not his fault that we're here. 
it is that dumbass George Bush, and he was, in my opinion, the worst president this country has ever had, ever. No, no one has come close. I know Nixon was in, was um. Well, they they did end up impeaching him, and he resigned. But um, George Bush, he oh god, he's stupid. But you know what? He represented America pretty well. He showed what kind of people we have here. Um, like like I said, ten years to get here. We're not getting out of here in one term of of a president. It won't happen. Doesn't matter who you are. Um. And one a few comments I have about Sarah Palin because <clears throat> I was discussing this earlier with uh, my my dad. We were getting a conversation about it. He feels the same way I do. Um, she if she runs for president, she will not win. There, there's no way she'll win. Now a lot of people say, "Oh well, you know what? She's followed. She's." Everyone loves her. Everyone cares about her. No. America clings to stupid people. You can look at any examples. She is all over the news. One, because she's a woman. Obviously. A, a woman has never been this bold to run for president. N Hillary Clinton. But, um, she's... She's been on TV. She's been in the news. And she's just everywhere. Like, everyone knows her. You know why? Because we're waiting for her to say something stupid. The public clings to that kind of shit. The public wants her to say something stupid. I need you to do some research because I've done some research on her. Her top 10 dumbest quotes. And dear Jesus, how does this woman not get the death penalty for how stupid she is? I think, you know what? Death penalty should not be for drug dealers or anything like that. It shouldn't be for killers. It should be for stupid people. Just stupid people, okay? She should get the death penalty. All right, I'm not threatening her. I'm, I'm not. I'm not threatening her. But I, I feel that she should. She should get it because she's she's so dumb. It's unbelievable how stupid she is. And her quote: "I can see Russia from my house." Now, a friend of mine. Well, he's kind of a friend. He's a, he's a nerd. He said, you know, that was a misquote. I looked it up. It was kind of a misquote, but it still showed that her showed her stupidity. Enemy spy plane above. Here's what she said. She said, you know, if Russia ever, you know, tried to attack the U.S. or, I mean, my foreign policies are amazing. Because I'm right over the border from Russia. All right, I gave you that moment of, moment of silence just to take that all in. Think of how stupid you must be to say that. There is hundreds of miles of ocean there. All right. She's, she's fucking dumb. She's stupid. All right, I'm going to wrap this up now because I'm over the video and I don't want to make it too long. I'll probably end up putting a, a picture or something in here. Um, maybe I'll put a clip in there. I don't know. It'll probably be that um, Deagle Tomahawk on launch, maybe? I don't know. Um, in closing, Obama, good president. I, I wouldn't consider him a great president because y you can't be a great president in these times. And Sarah Palin, you're fucking dumb. Goodbye. <laughs>